here we are, Sheffield Arena 2020, in the athletes' room. And wife's and you, Simon. We're about an hour and a half before the meet and greets, so we're gonna get that done at half three, and then come back down warm up. We're gonna get a swag on. <laughs> and we've got the wonderful kilts from Kilts for You. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Kilts for You. Uh, much appreciated on the quick release. Um, well, it comes off easy. And we've got Rich, Eddie Hall's ex physio, gonna be looking after us. Now, Stockman. Team Stoltman all the way. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so we've got our little corner, Scotch corner, if you will. <laughs> so Anyone please come join. Looking forward to get going. It's going to be a good event. I hopefully we'll get a good result for Team Stoltman 1-2 in the podium. Or 13 or 12. Either first and second or last and second and last. Stay tuned, like the video and looking forward to getting stuck in. There's Bister Bishop and his eggs. I'm here today with the Stoltman brothers. You might recognise me from used to be treating the 2017 World's Strongest Man Eddie Orr and hopefully get two podium spots today. Here I'm just basically using the buffer to warm up the legs just so I don't get any lotion on the legs which can cause havoc when lifting, when lifting the logs so we try to avoid any lotion in this sort of area. Nice. Hi, mate. <laughs> What's that? Just my Go, in the first event so it was good I always say my pressing is you know one of the best in the world and you know it's nice to kind of put that stamp on it but it's only the first event still and our four events to go so it is what it is so just got to keep kind of keep pushing get these deadlifts going get fired up and uh, let's see where we get get to <laughs> how'd you go on with that uh, fifth place uh, I did the 170 twice so it cost more time but I'm happy enough. Log's my worst event, so I'm glad it's out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. I said deadlifts was going to cost me a few points, and it did, but it is what it is. Just had my belt on, too, my belt's too small for me. So I got my last one, and every time I went down, I just couldn't really breathe. So that's something to take away. The belt with a neoprene doesn't really do any favours for me, especially in reps, but we're all looking forward to this loading race, get that done. It's two events done. Kind of, I think fourth place, or joint third or something, I don't know. You alright, mate? No, no, you're alright, don't be silly, man. You right? yeah. Hello! How you enjoyed it, like, uh, good bit. What's up next? Loading. Uh, loading, man, so that's, that's a quite fast pace, that's... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm enjoying it, anyway. Ah, oh, it's good job. We'll get back out there. So far, we'll catch up in a bit. How'd you get on with your deadlifts? Yeah, I had uh, eight to ten of mine, but I like ten because of Richardson got nine, but happy with it and uh, push on for the next three events, so... Uh, Where does that put you in uh, final listings? Well, third, a point and a half off first, so... I'm just going to keep steady now, and uh, I know loading's good for me, I know stones are good for me, and then is just 
grind to the end. So if I can keep consistent, yes. then yes. hopefully both Stopman's on the podium. You're currently number two on the leaderboard. How does that make you feel? Yeah, good. Uh, I always knew that Love was my weakest event. I said after that that I was going to battle and uh, deadlifts was good. I'm the best in the world at loading and uh, I just proved that at Worlds. And then Conan's wheel, I'm last out, so uh, I'm going to aim for top three, then win the stones and then hopefully win the title. So that's a goal, but let's see what happens in Conan's and then uh, take it from there. But everything feeling good. I'm getting too old to do this, but yeah, I've got another year, then I'll retire. You're 26, mate. <laughs> I'm not 25 actually. Oh, uh, how was that like? I can't really hear too well just now because my ears are ringing. Just the crowd cheering. No, it was good. I think I got uh, Tom first, Bish second, and then me third. It was all very, very tight. I guess one and a half seconds. I think. You know, I kind of keep up with Tom. I was quite happy with that. But that, that one. If all three of us finish on podium, then that'll be a, a great result for us. Um, two events left, so just stay focused and believe in yourself because nobody else will. I believe Highland Oak will touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. I get nightmares when I think of you. <laughs> say my name, say my name, like no one is around you, like babies cannot hold you. Don't you want it now, baby? We love you. Tom Stoltman, Adam Bishop is in the lead with 45, you're in second place with 42 and a half. Now, in order for you to win Britain's Strongest Man, you need to smash these stones and you've got to get a couple of people to come in between you and Adam Bishop. So you're going to win them, and we need somebody to get in between you. Certainly. And you, are you the man to do that job or are you going to beat Tom? No, I mean, I want to, I want to smash the stones first and foremost. Yeah. Uh, but if I can help Tom with the way, then that's what brothers are for, you know what I mean? Um, there was a lot of great, really good athletes doing these stones. So you know yourself, Atlas Stones is one wrong move, and that's it. Go out of way. Go out of way. So I mean, we don't want that, obviously. Um, I'd love to see myself or Tom win, kind of through kind of merit in itself. But yeah. I mean, we'll take anything at this point. Good okay, man. Well, Tom, you are the king of the stones as of now. You are unbeatable in this event. So what's the plan? Yeah, just to do it as fast as I can, win the stones, and then. Hopefully the wee man can uh, get in between Adam Bishop where he's putting that whole pack of chilies down his mouth like so. <laughs> <laughs> Just so everyone's aware, we've got a bit of a bet that whoever loses between the Stoltman brothers has to have a whole pack of uh, bird's eye chilies down the throat. So, uh, a whole pack? A whole pack.
<laughs> the Stoltman brothers, second and third. Right, there's one more thing. We had a bet. We had a bet. The loser of the two. Oh, hang on, let's do the winner first. There you go, Tom. <laughs> Terry's chocolate orange. And um, would you care to pick your weapon for your little brother Luke? Oh, yeah. I, I assume we're going to go for the smallest we've got, one. We've got to do meet and greets, and I'm going to be like, oh, oh, let's get spicy. Let's get spicy. Come on, in one. Chew it, get it, get it, get it, swallow it. Do it. I need more. <laughs> Just swallow it quick, it'll be fine. Oh, I can smell that. <laughs> that is horrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. What does that taste like? Oh, you're beating grits. That that is that is the taste of defeat. That is Luke. Uh, I don't, I, how does that how does that feel, Tom? Uh, it feels good, you know. Uh, I did it in the gym in years, so it's good to see him in our well, game. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> right, we've got to do a meet and greet now, so um, Luke's going to be in some agony, but um, well done to the Stoltman brothers. Absolutely amazing performance. Do not miss out. Well done to the Stoltman brothers. Like and subscribe to the channel. Big love. Yeah. See you later, guys. <laughs> This is a lovely line of Luke and Tom Stoltman going all the way back and it's very thick and wide and if you look straight ahead you can see Luke and Tom Stoltman, your second and third place in Britain's Strongest Man. The Stoltman brothers are rather rude making the fans stand up for pictures. So, you know, they've all had a long hard night sitting down watching them compete. So inconsiderate, so inconsiderate. I'm very, very happy to once again be in a Stoltman sandwich. British strongest man, yeah, it's a big, big, big thing for me. So the fact that I've shared the podium with the Stolen Boys and uh, we're good mates and stuff, it makes it even that little extra bit sweeter. So let's go on some party in tonight. Let's party hard. All right, guys, that's Britain's strongest man. Over and done with. Awesome show as always by Giants Live. Yeah, I mean, we came, what did you come, second? Second, second by half a point. So a couple of points back in third place. Tom smashed the, the castle stones and did 16 seconds or something. Yep. New world record, so that's <laughs> pretty incredible. Massive congratulations to our brother from another mother, Adam Bishop. Just solid throughout the day. Smashed the deadlifts, smashed loading the corins, you know, did really well in the stones. So yeah, credit where credit's due. He came and he, yeah, he, you got that first place. Um, we all improved our places from last year. Exactly, so yes, we all just moved up one place. It's all so improvements, that's what you need. And yeah. We're going to keep going for integration. So, so, guys, thanks very much for watching the video. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Um, please keep liking, commenting. What do they do if they swipe up to Norway? And please, guys, keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding. Do it, Tom. Ding. Ding. Hold tight.